Well, hello, hello, hello. How's it going? I'm queuing up over here. Welcome to another RCS Live. I am Nate, still hanging out over here, but you know, we have a brand new office uh, right down the street over in White Plains. We're excited to show you very shortly, but are you excited to see some voice tracking? That's right. Today is all about voice tracking. It's going to be really, really cool. We're going to talk about Zeta, Zeta to go, and RCS Cloud as well. All the really cool ways you can voice track. And again, working smarter, not harder. That's the idea here with today's RCS Live. As always, some housekeeping to get out of the way first. Yes, my chat is open. If you want to ask me any questions, I am here. Um, let's see here. Buh, 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 buh. Feature Friday. Don't forget we're doing some Feature Friday stuff on social media. So we'll be showcased with you and your RCS system. Let us know. Reach out to us. Don't forget your backups as well as your data exchanges. That's right. Data exchanges. Those are free part of your G selector and selector contract. Definitely do that. Don't forget about our data exchange recovery console, which essentially is we take your latest data exchange, save it in case of emergencies up in the cloud. So I want to remind you about the data exchanges and beta users. That's right. Always looking for beta users for Zeta 521.2, G selector 5.0, and Acquira 321.2 as well. Always looking for beta users there. If you're curious about the beta program, reach out. We'll help you out and get you more information on that. And finally, RCS is hiring as well. Yes, come work with this beautiful man. Yeah, it's me. Um, <laughs> there's a whole uh, bunch of positions open. Very rare positions, might I add. Over on our career page, uh, rcsworks.com. You can see there's a company dropdown and careers over there. Uh, we're going to be on the road. That's right. NAB is back. We're going to be there. That's on April 23rd to 27th. And here's a full list of our upcoming events as well. So you can see we're going to be at the, um, what's next here, the UK Radio Festival. Uh, we're there right now. And then we have the All Access uh, Audio Summit, NAB, Radio Days, Momentum, uh, and so much more as well, just so you know. All right, let's get into the goods. So I thought I'd have a little Zeta Cloud going on here, although I'm going to pivot just for a quick second. Again, we're going to talk about uh, RCS Cloud, Zeta, Zeta to go. So one of the first things I just want to do here, because I want to save my voice track over, I guess we can just quickly do a just quick voice track, right? There's just this one, two, three, four, five, six. Just something simple over here, yep. And of course, obviously, I would have some type of you know microphone with headphones here, but I'm just going to quickly just do a heads and tails. The reason I'm starting with Zeta Cloud is because we have a brand new feature as part of RCS cloud-based disaster recovery. If you ever have that user, by the way, who wants to voice track, but you don't really want to give them a VPN, it happens. It's not just you, it's everybody. So it's kind of a very ongoing thing. And so one of the great things you can do with your RCS cloud is you can actually save it inside of RCS cloud. It's going to land back in your traditional Zeta system, which is really cool. So I just recorded a quick voice track here in my RCS Cloud instance. You can see there's my playlist on the left-hand side, my voice tracker here on the right. What I'm going to do is in a couple of seconds, I'll show you when it lands correctly over here in my uh, secondary RCS system, right? So it's going through all those motions to save it, bring it back down. The key thing there is an empty voice track position. That's what we use as a placeholder to receive that voice track. Now, typically in Zeta and Zeta to go and in RCS Cloud, you can voice track anywhere. But if you want to save that voice track, you want to use an empty voice track position. That's what you want to do. So when that lands, I'll jump over to my other system. But for now, let's go over here to my, my Zeta here. Ba Boom. All right. And uh, let's see here. Let's go and talk about the voice track here. And Oh, perfect. See, it already landed, right? So I just want to show you here. So for just uh, purposes there, RCS Cloud. I'm going to bring over here, this is my secondary machine, right? Boom. There's my voice track right there. Just so you can see it land live in real time. And by the way, that's also available here as well. You can see a bunch of my voice tracks from RCS Cloud have landed. There's that one right there. If I double click on it, you'll see it will open up my metadata window. And boom, there's my RCS Cloud voice track. How cool is that? I love technology, right? Again, the beauty of this is that you don't need a VPN. Instead, we use Okta two-factor authentication with RCS Cloud that has your own email and password to securely log in and send that over using Zeta's site replication service. Again, all internally here in RCS. But I want to make sure I show that because that's a really, really cool feature. 
let's pivot now and talk about how to work smarter, not harder, right? So obviously inside of Zeta, uh, everything in here is essentially voice trackable or segue edible, right? So I'm going to click on this voice track here. Here is my window. You can see I have some heads and tails. I'm going to do a quick little recording here. Test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, you know what? I totally, ah, I messed that up. Okay, let me try it again. Three, two, one. Hey, what's up? It is Nate. This is what we got going on today at WRCS FM, yada, yada, yada. Here's Arcade. And yeah, this is RCS FM. Do I want to do that? Yeah, that'll end it there. I'll end it there. Okay. So there's my little voice track. And there's some settings we're going to show you as well here, too. So there's my voice track. Now, if you notice, I had that three, two, one, that intro. I didn't really need all that intro. And I can go back here and re-record it. But let's pretend for argument's sake that I want to essentially go and, again, work smarter and harder. Right-click right where you want it to be. Set the trim in. Look at all these marks you have here. Trim in, fade in, mix in, a whole bunch over here. I'm going to do a trim in. That's going to immediately chop up my sine wave, move me back to where the post was for the segue. And now notice I still have this great auto ducking feature as well. So I'm not fighting with my voice. Ducking is the concept where, again, if I have a voice track, I'm not going to fight with the song or a link or an other piece of audio. That's the station specific setting that we're going to enable as well. So let's say I don't want ducking. Great. Turn off, right? Um, shout out to our friends over in, uh, in Australia who has a uh, turn off auto ducking. I know those videos. Um, so if I want to have the opposite, again, there's my ducking there. But I have my trim out here, right? This is right here where I'm like, yeah, that's where I wanted to end that whole element. Maybe it was right here, right? So I can just right click on there and set the trim out. Boom, done, just like that. And now I can go here, bring this up. There's my post right here. Maybe do a little better cross right here, something along the lines like that or something. Now, I'll save this voice track, right? So notice, by the way, I set the trim in. I set the trim out, right? And I can enable the ducking and fade out and all that good stuff as well. There's also volume points. If you want to ride the fader, I can right-click here, insert volume point, right-click here, insert volume point. I can ride the fader. Um, obviously, I do this on the music down below and on the voice track, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to save this element here. Great. Sounds good. So I got the trim in. I got the trim out. Use great points. I always uh, shout out to uh, Lady D over in Boston who years, years ago, we used to hang out. We were talking about voice tracking and talking about, you know, working smarter, not harder. And this is one of the things that she said, you know, three, two, one, give yourself audio cues so you know what's going on. If you're doing phones, uh, phone bit with callers, right? Knowing where things are, understand that you can actually look at the sine wave without having to hear the sine wave. It's really, really important skill to have, in my opinion. I do it all the time. So again, the three, two, one, I know that's where the break is. That's where I'm going to splice up my voice track, right? But Nate, what happens if, okay, I did my voice track. It's a long form content break, but you know what? I messed up the middle portion of my voice track. No problem. Right, click on here, edit audio, single multi-track editor. Right, here's my voice track. Here's the middle part I didn't want. Boom, hit delete, hit save, and you're good to go. Now, the only thing to note is, again, think of the human change we did here, right? So technically speaking, what we did is we changed that transition. Imagine if I had gone in here and it was a, I don't know, a, uh, a five-second intro and I changed this and added audio, right? Added five seconds. I don't want that voice track to go over the post of the next song. So when we save this, we have broken that chain. In the background, we have some IDs here that we have every transition in Zeta is documented. And by changing this and saving this asset, we have changed the transition from the weekend into Duncan Lawrence, Right. So just be aware, if you do edit the middle portion of this asset, you're going to go back and just, I'm not going to save my changes. And I can go back here to my segue editor. And I just want to go and fix those heads and tails, right? That's just what I want to do there. Also, don't forget your cursor, zoom in, zoom out. That's also here as well. Very, very helpful. So again, if you're voice tracking, trim in, trim out, mess up the middle, right click on it, edit audio, and use a single or multi-track editor. Take away that middle portion, go back, fix your heads and tails, and save. Again, working smarter, not harder, right? Really cool stuff there. So we did the RCS cloud. Let's jump over here to our Zeta to go, right? I had a voice track already loaded up over here. Don't forget, we can have any transition here. So let's go find two songs. There's the Ana Grande one. We're going to load this up. 
Now, this is really cool. This is the brand new feature, right? I'm looking at my chat here. If you have any questions, feel free to chat away on here. I can see your chats here on, uh, again, we're streaming on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter Live these days. So if there's a medium you want to cover, just let us know. We'll add it to the mix. So I have my voice tracker here. Uh, it's in stay editor mode right now. Click on that voice track, switch to voice tracking mode. This is brand new. This is so cool. So part of COVID is we realized that there was an, a growing demand for everyday voice tracking, specifically requiring some of those uh, trim in, trim outs that we saw back in your Zeta system, right? So what we wanted to do is we want to take that and evolve it over to Zeta to go. So this is like, treat this as a completely redesigned voice track module in Zeta to go. And this is just such a powerful tool. So kudos to the Zeta team. I love showing this all the time. So again, a quick little voice track here. Test one, two, three, four, five, six, yada, 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 yada. And here's Anna Grande. Great. Right, so there's that here. I can move uh, heads and tails. Uh, pro tip two, make sure you save your asset, right? We wanna make sure we lock that in and we content manage that voice track. Uh, sometimes users go in and start playing with this all the time. And then of course they forget to save the asset. So typically what I like to do is record it, save it, get that content managed going, and then I can make my tweaks and save the changes. So the cool thing here is I can zoom in if I wanted to, I'll move this over. So of course I can zoom in, zoom out, control it, if you're a classic rock station, you might want to go and see more audio. We kind of give you a little snippet of the heads and tails, but you want more? Don't forget, you can always right click on here and get more audio or get the full audio. And that's locally cached audio as well. So get more audio, full audio. Those are options there. I can still right click on here, set the trim in. I'll right click on here, set the trim out. I got some volume points, so I can maybe right click on here. Set volume point uh, right here, set volume point right here, volume point right here, volume point. And now I might ride the fader, right? We talked about earlier. So there's that fader ride, something like those lines here, right? If you do something like this, so you can see, right? Uh, Anthony's got a question. You can record via SP uh, plugin. Yeah, yeah, you can totally do that, Anthony. Absolutely. Not in Zeta to go. But in traditional Zeta, there is a little folder you can enable, drop in your plugins. You can totally record with plug plugins there in Zeta. Uh, feel free to call support. They'll help you out. Just a little folder you just create and enable, restart your Zeta system. And then, of course, we'll add that plugin as part of the mix as well. So totally can do that, Anthony. Great question. Um, so again, now in Zeta to go in the latest version, um, I'm running my beta 521.2. Um, you can go and you can get this great feature. Again, those trim in, trim out, segue points. Uh, such a powerful, powerful tool when you think about it, right? And so I want to make sure you see this because I know a lot of our clients are dying to get their hands on this and they could if they're a beta user, right? So you can always do that as well. So really, really exciting stuff. Um, so we covered the RCS cloud, just to review a little bit here for questions. Uh, keyboard shortcuts, uh, great question as well. I believe we are introducing more keyboard shortcuts in here, if I'm not mistaken, for Zeta to go. Um, I'm trying to get my versions aligned here because I know, I think in 5.22.1, uh, I can't remember if it's this one or the next one, we're introducing all of those keyboard shortcuts for Windows. Right, that's going to come down the pipeline as well. So again, great question there as well. Uh, speaking of settings, I want to talk about briefly. Now that we worked smarter, not harder, let's talk about customizing your experience. Right, in Zeta to go, there's a little gear up here for your voice track settings. Um, some of these are pretty important. So display settings, just the header, cool, fine, whatever. But when you go to the audio settings down here, these are really powerful. So you got some buffer sizing if you're in a very low internet market. Uh, you have convert voice tracks to mono for smaller size input. The heads and tails auto ducking is there. Voice track dynamic compressor is there as well. Some behavior settings in here. Notice here, there's probably your, your space bar for record and playback. So there you go. So uh, keyboard shortcuts for Zeta to go. Use those settings there, that gear. Uh, and that's going to give you the voice track settings in that voice track segue editor module, right? So there you go. Behavior settings, space bar for record and playback one button or three button, uh, preload heads and tails audio when the hours loaded, uh, schedule reload windows, cursor positions, all that in there as well. Auto start locally armed hotkey audio in a click sequence, right? That's huge. So of course, we have the percentage of page size. We got that here. I'm going to cancel here. I want to show you on air is on the air. Hotkeys local 
Now we're going to operate this on essentially a, uh, a local cash level. That's why you see these little kind of download icons here. It's telling you that we haven't locally cached that download or haven't locally cached that specific asset. Very, very simple here. You go to the tools. There's a manage locally cached audio in case you're curious about the audio you have so far that's in there. You can always delete it too if it balloons up just a little bit. Uh, but again, local, you can do a little, uh, little volume control over here. And you can also arm this hotkey as well with a lot of options here for your hotkeys. want to make sure I talk about that as well. But a lot of users, uh, go to this behavior settings and voice track settings. Not many users know that it's there. It's a very powerful tool to customize your Zeta to go experience. Uh, if I want to go back to my traditional Zeta, there is some options for you as well. Go to your username up here, user preferences. If you don't see this window here, it's because your admin restricted your access. Don't be surprised. You don't see user preferences here. This means reach out to your engineer or your admin, and you can go ahead and get this window, make your changes, and save it. That's in here as well. But there's a really, really, really powerful settings here that I feel like many users don't realize that they actually have it. Aside from just picking your theme here at the very top, you go to the logs over here. There's your voice tracking right? One button voice tracking, multiple voice tracks, when station group filter, uh, prompt recording live tracks and live events, what you're doing here. There's some great behavior here, just so you know, and for user preferences, right? So you might want to take a note of that too as well. How do I get to that window? Up here, drop down, user preferences, the logs tab, and then the voice tracking options here. Some really cool stuff there as well, right guys? Makes sense so far? Um, I'm going to show you one quick thing. So if you want to get your question in, I would get it in right now. So if you have any questions in Zeta, Zeta to go, RCS Cloud, now is the time to ask them as well. I want to go back to my other system here because one of the really cool things that we can do inside of Zeta is the multi-site voice tracking tool. There's two options. We get this question all the time now, right? How can I connect and add voices to multiple markets using the same exact voice? The two ways I describe it are essentially A, if I'm going to say 98.3 WRCS FM versus, hey, what's up? It's Nate. If I'm going to include that positioning statement, I probably want to go and record that asset specifically into that database. We can use Zeta to go and multiple Zeta to go accounts. If I want to keep it a little more, you know, hey, it's Nate and I want to send this across. I mean, we have clients do this across multiple formats multiple stations, like I'm talking like like 50 plus stations to get a voice track. What they do there is I'm just going to click on here, open this little window here. I have a multi-site voice track and I have nothing mapping right now because another machine is unfortunately down, but you'll see this window here, multi-site voice tracker. And what you'll see here essentially is all of the stations listed that are part of your station group. So if you're a country format and you need to have all of your country stations get the voice track, you would create a group of all the country stations. And then you would see the list here and you can select all, record your voice track. When you save it, we distribute that all across all the assigned stations via Zcast, right? That's what we use there, that tool is Zcast. And so from here, what you can do is you'll see a match column here. If you see a green, that means, hey, we're good to go. We've matched on the head audio, it's being green down below. We matched on the tails audio, things are great. If you see two red, it means that we're not equaling what we're supposed to be equaling and there's discrepancy in the log, which might have an issue telling you that your heads and tails might be wrong and your voice track may be going over an incorrect element, right? That's there. Again, it's not very, it's complicated, but it's not when you actually execute it from the talent level. It's just the setup. That's the biggest thing, right? If you have questions on multi-site voice tracking, reach out to me or to your sales rep or to support whoever it is. We can talk more about that in detail, but that's the multi-site voice tracking tool. Really, really powerful stuff. Otherwise, we'd use the traditional, um, otherwise we do the traditional. You can see here, there's my Zetago login. That's my laptop, WRCSFM. That's that other machine that I was just showing you. And then I have my KRCSFM. That's my West Coast version of my, uh, my RCS environment. So these are all kind of linked together. But again, if I want to say, 98.3 WRCS FM. Hey, it's Nate. I can just simply go from my studio in my traditional Zeta to go and then jump to another station with those credentials, voice track locally, jump to a third station and uh, record there as well. So you can see there's some discrepancies there.
but we can still achieve the same goal, which is taking that talent, taking that midday talent, voice tracking weekends from market A onto market B. So market A midday person records weekends on market B. Market B midday persons records weekends on market A. And yes, you can see this. This is voice tracks, but there's also a distribute uh, spot as well. Very common to have those stations that are about an hour and a half, two hours away. You want to have a new voice on the station for spots. Record it. Zcast it across. There's some great RCS live videos on our archive for you to check out for Zcasting that are awesome there too. Um, ba -ba boom. So yes, we have a question over here. Hey, how's it going, man? How's that? Um, what version of Zeta has the option of user preference right up there? It's every version. As I said, don't be surprised if you don't have it in there. That just means that you don't have the rights and restrictions. Right there's a setting here inside of config. Uh, what is it? Account right here. Allow the user to customize the user preferences. So if you missed that, that could be the setting. You might have just a new user. You might have created it on the fly and realized, oh, I never enabled that setting there. That's what that is right there. So just so you know, allow the user to customize their user preferences. Great question. Awesome. How's it going? Um, so. Any last, last call for questions here? Any last questions for me before we, uh, we wrap here? Just to summarize again what we talked about today. Remember, RCS Cloud, we have the ability to voice track here traditionally, but as well as bypassing the VPN. I know some people get a little concerned about that. The security is still there. We use RCS's Cloud two-factor authentication through Okta. Uh, we then take that. And of course, we take that empty voice track position, send that back to your local Zeta, and you can see here, boom, I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this. If I can actually close it, where are you going to? Thank you. Um, and you can see there's my voice track from RCS Cloud, lands in your traditional voice track folder as well. That's all in there. That's a really cool thing. Again, two-factor authentication. Use your email password you give to that user, thus not the need to have a VPN. Then we use Zeta Start Application to receive that empty voice track position. In Zeta to go, we have the brand new features in Zeta to go for the voice tracker. We can go and do volume points, trim in, trim outs, all that good stuff as well. And, uh, ooh, Mateo, hey, I got a question here. Let's see. Um, boom, boom, boom. I'm going to read this over here. Can we see? Let me see here. So, all right, Mateo, greetings from Italy. Hope you're doing well, Mateo. Uh, let's see. I'm watching this. I realize that how do you make power intro songs on Zeta? Power intro songs. Um, I don't want to do the see here something uh, just because I want to do some copyright stuff. Um, Greens, thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, Mateo, great question. So how do you make power intro songs on Zeta? Like hooks? Is that what you're trying to do? The hooks question there? Um, I mean, you could always go into your Zeta system. I might poke you offline here, Mateo, but you can always go. Let's double click on the weekend here. And you can always take your hook, right? So take the element here. There's my hook right there. There's the hook. And I can always take that. And so, for example... If I go to, let's say, like a stacks module or something, right? I can take the stacks module. I'm going to pick a station quick. I'm going to drag over this uh, the weekend song down here. And I can always right-click on this, do hook enabled, and there's the five seconds there. So I always tell users, want a little hook, quick intro, put on the stacks module. You can say coming up next hour, sound effect, save your tears hook, uh, sound effect, another song hook. And then, of course, you put a stop chain at the very end of that. When the stop chain ends, then you fire it manually the next element, and boom, you have a great content break. So maybe that's what you're talking about power intro times. If not, I'll poke you offline. We'll have a chat and go from there. So thanks for checking in. Really appreciate it. Right? So voice tracking, right? The many faces of voice tracking. Some really, really cool stuff. My motto, remember, work smarter, not harder. That's the idea. So if you have any other questions, I'll be on the road as well. We'll be at NAB and a lot more of their great uh, events coming up later this year. Really excited to get back on the road and talk to you as well. I'll see you next Thursday, 11 a.m. East time, 11 a.m. Eastern time. There we go, Nate, for another RCS Live. I'll see you then.